Okay, now what I'd like to do is I'd like to start with two vectors and then I'd like to do a whole bunch of operations on them as examples for you of, ve of vector operations. Um, just a great huge um, variety so that you'll be ready to go into the end of the um, section and just have the kind of fun you were meant to have in this class. So the two vectors that I want to use are minus three meters in the x direction plus two meters in the y direction. The little hat just means direction, the little arrow just means vector, right? Um, and B, uh, that second one will be um, seven meters just in the y direction. And so I guess the first thing we really want to do is go ahead and plot these. Um, so, you know, we plot these two, these two um, different vectors and that will give us a reasonable idea about the sort of things um, that we're actually doing with them. Okay, so we, we have an x direction, we have a y direction, and this is a plot. Right? Uh, it's a devious, dastardly plot. I, I shouldn't say that. It's a wonderful, um, it's a wonderful plot. You'll love this plot. Um, so let's see. We've got um, two meters up, let's say, for y, and three meters in the negative x direction, which would be to the left. So that would put the um, put the point or the tip of our vector right there. And bang, there's A. That's all it takes to plot a vector, right? And then we can go up, um, we want to go up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want to go right up there. And we draw our vector here a little bit heavier because it's right on the axis. And that always makes things um, difficult to see. Where is the vector? Where is the vector not? So there we have it, two beautiful vectors that are just waiting for us to touch them. Um, so how are we going to play with our vectors? Uh, well, we'll play with our vectors in several ways. Um, I think we'll do five. Let's see, why don't we um, scale our vector? We'll do a scaling operation. Um, we'll do a sum. Sums are fun, right? Uh, a plus B. Uh, difference. If we're going to do a sum, we better do a difference because, I mean, one of the nice things about doing all these examples is we get a couple of comparisons. We get to see a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and everybody's happy. Um, after C, we'll usually do D. So D in this case is, let's combine a couple of them. We'll scale one vector and add it to the other. How fun, how fun is that? And finally, uh, let's go ahead and find the magnitude of one of these, um, one of these things. All right, so everything there, that's all we need. It's beautiful, we're ready to go. Um, these are nice, simple things. We're not going to have a lot of trouble with them. Okay, first we have a scaling operation. What is a scaling operation? Well, a scaling operation will just change the size of one of our vectors. In this case, we're going to change the size of this vector here, a. Um, and so what we're going to do is this two here, that means we're going to make it twice as long. And this minus means we're going to reverse the direction. So the negative sign in front of a vector reverses the direction. So this negative x means it's going to the left, right? Whereas positive x would have been going to the right. So um, so basically we're going to just come down here some distance. And I, I, I'd fill it in for you um, geometrically, but we want to actually do this operation and we'll use that operation to um, do things. Um, usually I want to do a strategy, but these are just operations. We're just going through and computing. Um, so, uh, a strategy for doing direct computations is a little excessive. So we've got minus 2a, which means we've got minus 2 times um, minus 3 meters 
in that x hat direction, x direction, plus two meters in the y direction. Okay, and that's all a unit vector is, is it's a direction. Um, then we go ahead and multiply it through, we cancel out these negative signs, and we have um, six meters in the x direction, or six meters to the right, um, minus four meters in the y direction, or four meters down. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, we come down here. One, two, three, four, we come down here. Oh, happens to be in exactly the place that I drew. Um, so that's going to be uh, part A, which is minus 2A. How awesome was that? That was just awesome. That's exactly the sort of thing that you're in this class for, like bam, bam, bam. Uh, so now we're going to do this um, next simple operation, which is just addition, right? And all we do in addition is basically add things up in the individual directions, right? Uh, you can think of this as if you had um, some sort of algebraic number here instead of a uh, or instead of an x or something like that, right? Um, if you just or instead of a direction x, you just had a variable x. You could only add the things with that x, right? And the same thing here, you can only add things that are multiplied by x hat to things that are multiplied by x hat. And b actually doesn't have anything multiplied by x hat. It only has something multiplied by y hat, the y direction, which means that there's actually nothing um, being added to that minus 3 meters. We still have that minus 3 meters when we add it. It stays in the x direction, that place. And then the y direction... Well, we have 2 plus 7, and that gives us, I don't know, we'll call it 9 meters this week. Okay? Um, so that means we have something still here at minus 3, right? But a little bit higher, 1, 2 higher, so right there. And that is our A plus B from this, from this center to this point, okay? Vectors can be put any, put anywhere, or can they, or another another way to say it is they can they're all they should always be drawn from the origin. Um, so that's a plus b, right? And that's that parallelogram rule that you've seen somewhere before, um, right? This diagonal of the par parallelogram with these two guys as the um, edges that is a physical interpretation or a geometrical interpretation of the sum. Not something I think we're going to find to be um, excessively difficult to think about. Um, so now we have this minus 3 meters x plus 2 meters in the y direction, right? And we want to um, subtract now the vector 7 meters in the y hat direction. Okay. Um, so we still don't have anything in that x direction, so we still have minus 3 meters. Only this time, instead of adding these to be 9 meters, we um, subtract the 7 meters from the 2 meters and we get minus 5 meters in the y hat direction. So basically, um, you know, we're still at this place here, and then we're down here at minus um, 5, right there. So uh, here is our resultant vector, A minus B. Okay, uh, I, is that getting complicated yet? No, not really. You want more. I can tell you want more. Look at that look in your eyes. Nothing could be better, right? I, I know you're so excited that you get to do this. I'm so excited. I'm doing this on a Friday night. How could I not be excited? Right, so 
Um, now we've got minus two times a plus b, and I could do the I could do this operation, but I already did that operation, so I'll just use um, that that previous um, result: six meters minus four meters in the y direction plus seven meters y hat is equal to six meters in the x direction um, plus three meters in the y direction. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So that's minus two a plus b. Okay. Very good. Nothing um really complicated yet, right? I mean, I, you're you're about as happy with this as I am. I I can't I can't believe how smoothly this is going. I mean, um, you're just a real pleasure to have around here. Um. So now we take the magnitude of a minus b. That's equal to the square root of the x component of a minus b squared plus the y component a minus b squared, um, and that's really just the Pythagorean theorem, right? You're saying, okay, from here to here, x, y, this guy's the, um, I guess that's the wrong one, but, you know, you've got x and you've got y, that's these things, and then we um, find the hypotenuse, one of life's scariest things. So we have 9 meters squared, right? or again, minus 3 meters times minus 3 meters is 9 meters squared, and then we've got 25 meters squared over here, um, which is equal to the square root of 34 meters. And I've heard that there is a decimal representation of the square root of 34, and um, it's actually gotten pretty good reviews online. I think it's got like a 4.2 out of 5, but I really um, don't want to go there, right? You, you know, there's some things that I'm just not into, and um, decimal representations of irrational numbers is not really something I'd like to do unless it makes things really, really ugly. So there we are. Isn't that beautiful? That's all you're going to need to do in this section. So um, please enjoy it and um, uh, you know just check up on Blackboard and all that other fun stuff that keeps you in class. All right. I will talk to you later.